Hello beautiful people, welcome back. I'm Anna and this is Brock. He's my fiance. I've never introduced you in the vlog in the, as my fiance. Surprise. We are on our way to Madison's Bridal Expo. I was not familiar with this event until I want to say last month or the month before. It's an expo that they do in every state and more than one city and basically all of the wedding vendors in the state get together and sometimes they offer discounts. What are you drinking? Starbucks Frappuccino. Like the glass thing. You're more basic than I am. Okay, venti chai tea latte with soy milk. But you buy them to keep them at home. At least I make my own chai tea latte. So you're so basic you had to copy the Starbucks recipe because you couldn't get enough? I got it. The audacity. Anyway, happy Sunday. I feel like I haven't vlogged in forever. I'll see you guys when we get there. This place was actually really loud. There was a lot going on, so that's why I didn't record any audio in here. So this is kind of a montage of the expo and I'll tell you guys a little bit about it after. in the bridal expo my love it was fun most of the stuff there i'm pretty sure we won't use to be honest but we got anna got like 15 bags and we got a free we'll go over those in a bit <laughs> and we did get a free cooking class which i'm still trying to figure out what the catch is there we haven't figured it out yet don't copyright me please yeah, so we got a free cooking class for some reason. We're not complaining. We booked an appointment with the jewelry store to get our wedding bands, or at least look at our wedding bands. And anything else? Uh, we looked at a photo booth option. I'm not a fan of photo booths, mainly because I feel like they look a little bit tacky, but Brock really wants a photo booth, and this option, it was just like a mirror. So like, it looks like a mirror, so it doesn't look like a photo booth. They send them to your phone or print them, depending on what you want. So, if we do it in Madison, we may consider them. Too early to book them, yeah. I feel like. At least to like not look, like, you know, if we decide we're gonna do a photo booth, we probably wanna check out like five different options at least. And Brock got a coupon for a men's warehouse for his groomsmen suits. And I, I got a coupon for David's Bridals for yeah. my, my bridesmaids. So we'll, we'll see, we'll go from there. Little bridal expo hall, stickers, David's Bridal was there and they gave me this little half scrunchy half headscarf but it is made with leftover bridesmaid dress fabric so that's why it has this color it's really pretty that free cooking class we were talking about and there was a tanning place that gave us a coupon for like $20 of a spray tan I'm not a spray tan girl I don't really do spray tans but I'll just give it to someone in my family or friends and then there was this free custom print or personalized gift gift card for $200 bridal magazine so we are on our way to a jewelry store to take a look at wedding bands and this is the breakfast for today these little smoothie packs with your stuff in my hand <laughs> No wonder you're marrying this guy. I'm pretty sure I filmed an intro for this video like seven times, but we're looking at another venue today and I think this is the last one we're gonna look at before we just sit down and make our decision. This light makes it look like I have like a freaking red spot here and it's just my makeup. Um, I just am a little stressed out. I just hope that we like this because obviously there's a lot to weigh in like price and aesthetic and everything. Just everything kind of has to be just right. 
we do have like a few options that if you're seeing my last video you'll, you'll see them i'm a little stressed out that we haven't found something we're in love with so today's venue is at a golf country club and i'm hoping i'm hoping it works so i'll let you guys know i haven't filmed a video in a very long time because i've been insanely busy with work i have a new job which i think is gonna probably be part of this video so that i can update you guys on it i'm no longer working in property management but i'll update you guys on that later let's go to the venue so this is the weather we deal with every time we go wedding venue shopping well the best part is over by us it was like a little gray not like super super dark just like a little overcast and then the further the closer we get to the venue the darker the sky gets it's genuinely ridiculous like every single day we've been venue touring it's looked like this <laughs> you can't make this up like this is just look at that we were just joking about this year earlier and it just We are actually really excited about this venue. I think it's exactly our vision. It's very bright. It has an outdoor area for the ceremony. It's beautiful with the fountain in the back and everything. And then the indoor has floor to ceiling windows, which makes it really, really pop and really, really bright. So we're really excited about this one. Obviously there's details such as pricing and food, food options that we still have to consider, but we'll definitely do that tonight. And we're happy to have another option here in Madison. I thought of popping here while I get ready for the day to tell you guys about my new job because it was the only thing that I wanted to include in this vlog that I didn't get to talk to you guys about. So as some of you know, I was doing property management mostly during COVID because I moved to Madison and I had a Florida real estate license and I've always been in events and hospitality but events and hospitality were taking kind of a back seat during COVID for obvious reasons. So I did property management for a while and that was fine. I he paid the bills, which is at the end of the day what matters, but I really was not passionate about it at all. Especially I was a leasing agent for um, apartment buildings. It was a lot of work and I was coming in on weekends and holidays. I feel like I don't want to give that much of my time to a company I'm not passionate about or a job I'm not passionate about. And they were a good company by all means, like the people there were great and I'm still friends with some of them. It just, it wasn't long term for me and I knew it wasn't going to be long term. So eventually I just decided it's time to start looking and because I already had a job, I feel like that definitely helps kind of the job search because when you are looking for a job and you don't have a job, I feel like you kind of take anything. I started searching and I knew I wanted either virtual work like virtual assistant work so that i could spend some more time home planning a wedding right now and that takes a lot of time i just wanted my weekends back and i wanted to be able to work from home so um i was torn between virtual assistant job and going back to events because events is ultimately what i love so it makes me the happiest i feel like i've never been happier professionally than when i'm on stage and i'm dealing with people it just makes my entire day had a few offers from different companies and one of those offers was the job I ended up actually taking and here we are I am director of public and private events for this company they do a lot of events some smaller than others I kind of am the point of contact for events I find out logistics with clients like I go over food menus I go over pricing with them um, I design kind of the best package for their budget which is ultimately what I wanted to do I waxed my face yesterday and is still irritated in some places just makes me really happy that i'm back doing what i love shooting some content for them for their socials which is also clearly what i love so it just it feels very very good to be working in a job that i genuinely like this was pretty much the last update i wanted to share with you guys so thank you so much if you stuck all the way till the end i'm wearing my cleveland 
big t-shirt today now i'm working from home today that's why i look like this i'm answering emails calls etc and i'll see you guys next week thank you so much for watching you guys have a wonderful week love you all stay safe like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video i'll see you guys next week Mwah.